the book Dragon Slayer. <sighs> Hi. Well, today, mm. here's to you, Mr. Moon. What a night. Today, what a night. Mm. That was fun. <laughs> Hijacking that one person's body. <laughs> it was fun to give him a joyride. Hardly anyone wears the cold metal on them, so it's safe to touch them. <laughs> uh, those blarneys. Those Blarneys and their interspecies exchange bill. I'll give them one thing. They make it easier for a Fuka such as myself to cause mischief. Hmm. It is a beautiful night, though. Hmm. wonder why the humans don't stay up this late. Oh, well. No night for me, I guess. Hmm. Who's there? Hi. Come on out. You ain't hiding from me. I can smell you. Come on out. I ain't gonna bite. Not hard anyway. Huh. Well, I'll be. Any or I thought the humans all went to sleep at night. Well, what's a human like you doing out here in the night like this? Hmm? Who am I? <laughs> well, my name is Colleen. I'm a Fuka. Mischievous trickster spirit by trade. Drinker by others. And a fond lover of tattoos. In case you can't tell by the ones on my arms and my stomach. I even got some on my thighs. Yeah, they're hidden by my belts. Now, you know who I am. My name's Colleen. And who are you? Ah, it's a very humany sounding name. It suits you. <coughs> mm. <laughs> Pardon me, human. Uh, just been drinking a little cider. This blackberry pear hard lemonade you humans make. It's quite tasty, if I do say so myself. I like it at least. Mm. Reminds me of those nice summer nights. Back in the old days. Though, I suppose the old days weren't. All that cracked up they were to be. Hmm? Well, I mean, back then, there wasn't the exchange bill that we have between us monsters and you humans. Back then, we were sometimes at each other's throats despite the fact that we Fuka, although we're mischievous, there's no malice in our mischief. I even had some relatives help a human get an education by giving them lots of wealth. We mostly give people adventures, and yes, we do hijack bodies, but it's part of the fun, and no harm comes to you, so... But, back in those days, people wore the cold metal. Mm hmm Iron. Hate the stuff. Can't abide by it. Ugh. It's... What does iron do? Ugh. It's nasty stuff. Nasty and unpleasant. It burns, it stings, and it freezes, and ugh. 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 I heard of one poor Fuku girl. She had her wings burned right off because someone took an iron chain to her. Ugh. Makes me skin crawl just thinking about it. Nowadays, though, with this exchange bill, we're more at peace with each other. Ugh, excuse me. That blackberry pear hard cider's a bit bubbly, so it gives you the burps, if you know what I mean. 
So, ah, I'm sorry. I tend to blather sometimes. But what about you? What exactly brings a human like you out here so late in the night, huh? Oh, I see. You couldn't really sleep. And so when you can't sleep, you go out on walks. Walks in the middle of the night. Huh. You humans are quite peculiar. Very odd, yet... I suppose that peculiarity is why we Fukus tend to like you so much. Because we're both such weird creatures. Well, I mean, look at me. I've got a tail, i got wings and ears like a bat. i got those big, long yellow eyes. I can change forms, I can be a rabbit, I can be a dog, I can be a horse, I can be a bat. I can even be a human, just like I am kind of now. We're definitely odd. And I mean, most creatures like us back in the old days, they were either for or against you, and they never, ever, ever told you their real names. Oh no, 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 this was always all secrecies and secret smiles with them. But we focus. You've always been honest about who we are and what we do. And I mean, so long as you didn't have the cold metal on you, we weren't bothered by you. <laughs> I sound like an old friend of yours. Mm. She probably was as batshit crazy as I am. But, I mean, all the best people are crazy. If you think about it. <laughs> ah. Would you like some? I, I forgot, I'm kind of being a little rude. I was spending the night by myself, but um, would you like a sip? Would you like a sip of the blackberry and the pear? I think you might like it. It's like drinking a summer's night. Alright, yeah. Ah, there you go. Gump, gump, gump the sweet stuff down. It's good, right? <laughs> I know. It's one of the reasons why I buy it so much when I have the money to do so. Mm. Hmm? Do I work? Well, of course I do. Every monster works. I just happen to work at the library. Yeah, I'm an assistant bookkeeper. What about you? Oh, you got a sketchbook with you. That's mighty cool. You draw a lot. Oh, you do? Now you don't have to, but would you mind showing me some of your pictures, please? Pretty please? I won't judge. I promise. Wow! You're really talented! Oh my goodness, these pictures are amazing! And these are, these are some of your classmates. Huh. I actually recognise some of these people. I recognise him. Oh, I definitely recognise her. She's kind of a bitch. But she's pretty. I'll give her that. Oh, I recognise him. I recognise them. Oh my goodness. Have you drawn, like, everybody in the class, in these classes? You've been taken... Or whatever. <laughs> oh, really? Now that... The more I look at it... You kind of remind me of someone. I had a friend. I had a friend and they could draw really good like this. Now that I think about it... You kind of look a lot like them. And I look a lot like your, your childhood friend... Well, uh, it, it can't be you though, it, it can't. Last time I saw them, they were on, on their way back home to the mainland. They were just visiting my homeland for a vacation or so. Oh, 
You still think I'm my friend? Alright, um, I'll ask you three questions and if you manage to get them right, I'll kiss you. Okay. What was my least favourite subject in school? Okay, that was a lucky guess, but come on, everybody hates math. Nobody in their right mind likes math, aside from vampires. But vampires are weird. They're very weird. Who enjoys math? I almost gouged my eyes out with a fork at the mention of the word algebra. Ugh, I hated algebra. The only thing I mildly enjoyed was solving for X. But even then, that wasn't that fun. <laughs> that was one answer right. That was mere luck. That was mere l luck. I'm a bit skeptic. I've become a... <laughs> anyway. Oy. You're human. Crazy human. Alright, second question. Um, what was my favourite meal? Alright. You got another one. I did enjoy it when your mum made that... That soup. That soup with the, 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 you know, the tomatoey soup. I really enjoyed that with the, the greens and the bits of the bacon and the little pastas with cheeses. And I'm, what, what the hell did she call that soup? Tortellini, I think she called it. Yeah, I think she did call it tortellini, but yeah, that was one of my favourite meals. I, I always would come by, I always would come by mm, my friend's house whenever I visited him him because me and my family always traveled around <laughs> that's only two out of three questions if you get the third question correct not only will i kiss you but i'll be gobsmacked i'll be gobsmacked and i'll i'll lick my tattoo yeah i'll lick my moon tattoo right here on my arm <sighs> i'm not scared a fool ain't scared of anything except the cold metal Anyway, third and final question. Let's see if you can get this one right. <clears throat> what was my favourite story that we read in English? I'll be blown. It really is you. Holy shit. Oh, you've grown and you've turned out you're beautiful you're stunning you're lovely i can't believe it <laughs> oh my goodness i see you still there drawing i uh, oh, you, you kiss well i did say i i would kiss you didn't i and i always keep my promises no matter what all right pack up me human. Yeah, I used to call you that when we were kids. You were me human. And I suppose now you still are. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sans Begora. Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you so much, I... Um, mm, 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 hi! Oh, I'm a human! Me human! Oh, you're getting me flustered. But... I wonder if they just made you bolder. Let's see if you can really kiss a woman deeply. Is that a challenge? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is a challenge. Come on then, me human. How deep can you kiss a woman?
Such a good kiss. Ivy, Begoras, and Begons. Oh, you really know how to kiss. You're a good kisser. They just made you bolder and made you even more magnificent. <laughs> uh, I to think that little kid I grew up playing with when their family occasionally came to my homeland to think that they grew up into such a wonderful wonderful human <clears throat> uh, so where have you been going for schooling oh you've been going to that college i have too how have i never seen you there before oh that's weird that is so weird but well, I'm glad I've been able to find you. I'm glad we found each other again. You want another drink? <laughs> I know it's good. Tell you what, if you tell me where you live, I'll buy you a case. I'll buy you a case and we can watch movies or something. I don't know. I mean, it's been so long and... I want to catch up with you, you know. Oh, uh, uh, what about my tattoo? Oh, well, I, oh yeah. I said that if you could guess all three questions right, not only would I kiss you and be gobsmacked, but I'd lick my uh, my crescent moon tattoo on my arm. So, all right, here we go. No cameras, please. You don't need you don't need evidence of this. Yeah. <sighs> There. I gave it a lick in. It got a lick. What? What's the look on your face, me human? Oh, what? Do you want me to lick you too? You want a lick from your fook, girl? A fook -a lick? Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, I... I'm not judging. No, I do admit you do look kind of cute when you're blushing like that. Me human. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'll give you a lick. But then you want to be getting back to bed. You humans aren't nocturnal. Like we, Fuka, and other nocturnal creatures are. You need your sleep. But alright. I'll give you a lick. Alrighty, I gave you a lick. Hmm? What library do I work at? I work at the Saints Briar Library. Yeah, I work at that one. If you want, you could come and find me. My shifts are very open and lenient, and I always get my work done on time, and I'm allowed breaks, so come and find me sometime. Or heck. We could go there when I have a day off. It's entirely up to you, but I think you'd enjoy it. <laughs> well, it is getting very late. Oh, I don't know about you, but now I'm starting to get kind of tired. <sighs> you humans have a weird way of rubbing off onto us monsters. But I suppose that's for the best. After all, if you hadn't rubbed off onto me all those years ago, I might not have found you again. And you might not have found me again. You want another kiss before I... Oh, you need to go to bed. You're tired. 
and you're making me tired too. So any more kisses and you'll let me walk you home? <laughs> Alright. But if you try to sneak any more kisses out of me, after the third one, I'll, I'll hijack your body and I'll take it for a joyride. I will. I'll do it. And you know I can do it. Alright. One. Two. How was three? Alrighty. Let's get you back home and... Oh, if you don't mind. Could I sleep on your floor tonight? I promise I'll make breakfast in the morning. And I won't be any trouble, but... Oh, I'm getting so tired. Could I just crash over at your place tonight? Alright. Well... Uh, let's get up, dust ourselves off, and mm, oh, that cider's so good. Alrighty, so um, which way do we go to get to your home? Ah, there. Alright then, me human, lead the way.